Venga, vamos con estas frases súper, súper sencillas, pero que están clasificadas por apartados. En este caso, otras formas de decir hola en inglés, ¿vale? Empezamos con la más sencilla, hello, semiclave H, hello y letra clave L, hello. No vas a decir hello, sino hello, hello. Siguiente, ¿qué hay? ¿Qué pasa? What's up? What's up? Semiclave W, what's up? No what, sino what's. What's up? Hey, what's up? ¿Qué pasa? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. What's up? Repite conmigo. What's up? ¿Qué hay? What's up? How is it going? How is it going? Pero suena todo contraído como house. How's it going? How's it going? It. Y como e. It. Going. How's it going? Repite conmigo. Hey, how's it going? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cómo va? How's it going? How's it going? Clásico. ¿Qué tal? How are you doing? How are you doing? Al unirlo todo, omitimos el verbo. How you doing? No doing, sino doing. How you doing? How you doing? ¿Está diciendo how are you doing? Pues no. How you doing? How you doing? How you, how you doing? How is everything? Pero lo contraigo como si fuera casa. How's, how's everything? Every. Si mi clave V, la R genera una U. Every. Thing. TH como Z y como E. Thing. How's everything? How's everything? Hey, how's everything? ¿Cómo va todo? ¿Qué tal? How do you do? How do you do? Pero mira que la D se convierte en una R suave. How do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do? How do you do? Hey, how do you do? Repite. How do you do? How do you do? How do, how do, how do you do? How's tricks? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo va? How's tricks? How's tricks? Hey, how's tricks? ¿Qué pasa? How's tricks? How's tricks? How's tricks? ¿Cómo va? How's tricks? Tricks. La R genera una U. Tricks. How's tricks? No te he visto en, en años. Haven't seen you for ages. Omitimos el AE. Es una frase hecha. En lugar de decir I haven't, pues digo haven't seen you for ages. Haven't seen you for ages. La T de haven't no se pronuncia. Haven't seen you for ages. Great to see you again. Great to see you again al unirlo. Great to. Te como eres suave. Great to. Great to see you again. Great to see you again. Hey, great to see you again. Great to see you again. Me alegro de verte de nuevo. Great to see you again. Nice to meet you. Encantado de conocerte. Nice to meet you. La T más la Y se convierte en un sonido J. Meet you. Meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Repite. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ahora vamos con otro apartado, 10 formas de decir adiós. En lugar de adiós, pues puede decir, por supuesto, el clásico bye, ¿vale? Está admitido. Pero en lugar de decir bye, vas a decir bye. 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 Bye, bye, Mr. No sé cómo es la canción. American Pie. Ok, anyways. Goodbye. Y aquí no vas a decir goodbye. Goodbye, sino good. U como o. Goodbye. Y la de, mira, good. Como una resuave. Goodbye. 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 U como o. Goodbye. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for. Letra clave R, for now. No now, sino now. Bye for now. Puedes omitir la R al decirlo rápido. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Be seeing you. Suena raro, pero es porque esto es un acortamiento de I will be seeing you. Yo te estaré viendo. ¿Vale? Como despedirse. I will be seeing you, pero omiten I will. Y se queda be seeing you. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. See you soon. Te veo pronto. See you soon. See you, see you, see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. See you, see you, see you, see you. See you soon. See you soon. Eso sí que es una U. Soon. See you soon. Te veo pronto. See you soon. See you soon. 
See you soon. See you soon. All right, I'm off. Otra forma de decir uh, hasta luego, ¿vale? I'm off. I'm off. Incluso todo junto, I'm off. I'm off. Esa O como una A y la F, esa doble F es una F pura, ¿vale? I'm off. I'm off. Adiós. I'm off. I'm off. Catch you later. Lo mismo. Esto es un acortamiento de I will catch you later. Te veo luego, te atrapo luego, te pillo luego, ¿vale? Se dice, en vez de I'll catch you later, que puedes decirlo también, se dice catch you later. Catch you later. Later, la T como re suave, la letra es la R al final, later. Catch you later. Farewell. Farewell. Semiclave W, quiere decir que no se dice well, sino U. Y la L, letra clave, well. Farewell. 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 Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. Good one. La D casi como una resuave, ¿ves? Good one. U como good. Good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. Semiclave V. Que tengas un buen día. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. See you later. El clásico see you later. Hasta luego. See you later. Te como resuave, letra clave R. See you later. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Formas de decir gracias. Empezamos por la menos original. Thank you. TH, semiclave como Z española. Thank you. Y, semiclave. No es chu, thank you, sino thank you. Como una I. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Letra clave L. Lot. Y la T casi no se pronuncia, ¿vale? Lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. ¿Vale? Casi no se dice. Un 3%. Y generalmente esto, esto se suele usar para decir, vale, muchas gracias, ¿eh? Cuando te gastan una mala jugada, dirías, vale, muchas gracias, ¿eh? Thanks a lot. Ok, otra más. Lo aprecio mucho. I really appreciate it. I really, letra clave L, a pre, letra clave, la R genera una U, appreciate, esa C es como una SH, appreciate it, y la I como E. I really appreciate it. Repite. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Me has alegrado el día. You've made my day. You've made my day. Pero puedes omitir el you've. Puedes decir, you made my day. You made my day. Yes, me has alegrado el día. You've made my day. Es otra forma de decir gracias, ¿vale? You've made my day. Y esa de casi se convierte en una resuave. You've made my day. How thoughtful of you. How thoughtful of you. Muy bien pensado por tu parte, por así decirlo. Otra forma de decir gracias, ¿vale? How thoughtful of you. Esa F es como una V. Of you. Of you. Right? How thoughtful of you. No deberías haberlo traído. Imagínate que te regalen algo y dices, ah, no hacía falta. You shouldn't of. La H se omite. You shouldn't of. La T no se pronuncia. You shouldn't of. La V se hace casi como una F. You shouldn't of. Y la SH, letra clave. You shouldn't. You shouldn't of. You shouldn't of. Oh, eso es muy bonito por tu parte. That's so kind of you. That's. Letra semiclave TH. That's so kind. La D no se pronuncia. Kind of. Kind of you. That's so kind of you. Es muy bonito detalle por tu parte. That's so kind of you. Kind. That's so kind of you. That's so kind of you. Estoy más que agradecido. I'm most grateful. I'm most grateful. I'm most grateful. I'm most grateful. La T de most casi no se dice, ¿vale? I'm most grateful. I'm most grateful. La L letra clave al final no es grateful, sino grateful. Thanks a million. Muy un millón de gracias. Tío, thanks a million. Thanks a million. Million. Mele, mele, million. Thanks a million. Tío, muchas gracias, un millón de gracias. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Desde el fondo de mi corazón. Muchas gracias. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And I mean from the bottom of my heart. 
from the bottom of my heart from the bottom of my heart thank you you're welcome ahora formas de decir de nada you're welcome pero puedes omitir el verbo er por lo tanto puedes decir you welcome letra clave l semiclave y you welcome you welcome you are welcome you welcome you're welcome you welcome no problem no hay problema de nada no problem mírate la r como genera una u problem no problem no problem no problem no yeah, absolutely no problem repite conmigo no problem no problem de nada no problem no worries de nada no worries semi clave w worries la r genera una u worries no worries no worries at all en absoluto no worries no worries no worries de nada no worries no worries ni lo menciones no hace falta que lo digas don't mention it atención este don't no se dice don't sino que la t no se dice don tal cual se escribe don mention la t como una sh shen letra clave no es mention sino mention mention it y como es don't mention it el placer es mío my pleasure my pleasure pleasure my pleasure letra clave le pleasure letra clave re my pleasure my pleasure de nada my pleasure my pleasure glad to help encantado de ser de ayuda glad to help glad to help y dicho rápido esa t de tú se convierte en el suave claro help Claro, help. Y la D también. Claro, help. I'm really glad to help. Claro, help. Claro, help. Encantado de ser de ayuda. Glad to help. Claro, help. O también puedes decir sure. Como la S se convierte en una SH. ¿Vale? Shhh. Letra clave SH. Sure. Y R. Sure. Sure. Te dicen gracias, thank you. Y tú dices sure. De nada. Sure. You're welcome. Sure. Anytime. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Mira, anytime, precisamente. Anytime. Te dicen gracias, thank you. Tú dices, mm, lo que quieras, las veces que quieras. Anytime. Anytime. No es time, sino time. Anytime. Mm, mm. Anytime. Mm, mm. Anytime, anytime, anytime. Anytime. No sweat. Nada. No te mal lleves. No sweat. No sweat. No sweat. Mira la T que casi no se dice al final. No sweat. No sweat. No sweat. No sweat. No sweat. Don't worry. No sweat. No sweat. No sweat. It was the, la the least I could do. It was. Era lo menos que podía hacer. It was. Mira que no digo it was, sino e wa. It was the least I could do. It was the least I could do. Repite, it was the least I could do. It was the least I could do. Formas de decir, lo siento. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Pero omites el I'm. Dices, sorry about that. About, arriba, about, about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. Letra clave R que genera una U. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Jolín. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My bad. Es mi culpa. My bad. My bad. Mi culpa. My bad. My bad. My, my, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's my bad. It's my bad o simplemente my bad. Oh, he metido la pata. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry, I messed up. I'm sorry, I messed up. He metido la pata. La he liado. I messed up. I messed up. La he liado parda. I messed up. Big time, un montón. It was my fault. Lo mismo, no es it was, sino it was. Y la T casi se omite. It was, it was, it was. It was my, no my, sino my, y luego fault. 
fault. It was my fault. Ha sido mi culpa. It was my fault. Repite. It was my fault. It was my fault. I take full responsibility. I take full. No se dice full, sino full. Y luego responsibility. Responsibility. Todo is como es. Responsibility. I take full responsibility. It's my fault. I take full responsibility. I hope you can forgive me. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. I hope you can forgive. ¿Y cómo es? Me. I hope you can forgive me. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. Don't deny me. This love is... No sé qué más era. Okay. That was wrong of me. Era mi culpa. Ha sido un error mío. That was wrong of me. That was wrong of me. That was, that was wrong of me. La F casi no se dice. A mí. That was wrong of me. I'm so sorry. That was wrong of me. Won't do it again. No lo haré más. I apologize for my mistake. Pido perdón por mi error. I apologize for my mistake. It's too late to apologize. Too late to date. I apologize. Letra clave J, GJ. Apologize for my mistake. La R no se pronuncia. For my, for my mistake. I owe you, te debo, una, una disculpa. I owe you an apology. I owe you, I owe you an apology. An apology. La G como una CH, ¿ves? Apology. Letra clave GJ. I owe you an apology. I owe you an apology. I owe you an apology. Formas de decir que estoy bien. I'm good. I'm good. U como O. I'm good. No es I'm good, sino good. I'm good. Estoy bien. I'm good. Ah, yeah, definitely, desde luego. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing well. Estoy bien. I'm doing. No doing, sino doing. No well, sino well. Well. Letra clave L, semiclave W, no es gu, gu, sino u. Y no es well, sino well. I'm doing well. Yes, I'm telling you, insisto, I'm doing well. Estoy bien. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Pretty good. Estoy bien. Pretty good. Bastante bien. Pretty, pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman, the kind I like to meet. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm pretty good. ¿Qué tal estás? Estoy bien. I'm fine. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Omitimos el I'm. Decimos pretty, pretty good. Couldn't be better. Lo mismo. Omitimos el I. Couldn't be better. No podría estar mejor. I couldn't be better. Omites el I y queda couldn't. Que se curen. Están enfermos. Que se curen. Couldn't be better. La T de couldn't no se pronuncia, pero la D se convierte en la suave. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Can't complain. I can't complain. Lo mismo. Ese I se omite. I can't complain. I can't complain. Pronuncia, acentuamos el can, pero la T se omite. I can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Can, como lo veo Barbie, complain. I'm just piche. I'm just piche. I'm just piche. ¿Vale? I'm just piche, como una forma de alternativa a I'm fine. I'm just piche. I'm just piche. Como un melocotonudo. A peach es un melocotón, ¿vale? I'm just piche. Never better. ¿Vale? Never better. Es como un acortamiento. I've never been better. I've never been better. Por lo tanto, queda never better. Never better. O nunca mejor que ahora, por así decirlo, ¿vale? Never better. Estoy bien. Never better. Never better. Over the moon. Sobre la luna. Over the moon. Eso sí que es una U. Moon. Over the moon. La semiclave V, over, y la R que, que decae. Mira, se dice over the, over the moon. 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 I'm on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. Estoy genial. Estoy en, la nu en las nubes, vaya. En la nube, 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 no, nueve. I'm on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. Never better. I'm on cloud nine. I'm on top of the world. Estoy en la cima del mundo. I'm on top of the world. World. 
I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Diez formas de pedir ayuda en inglés. Venga, can you help me, please? Can you? Como Kenia, pero con U. Can you help me, please? ¿Me puedes ayudar? Can you help me, please? 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 Can you, can you, can you, can you help me, please? I need some assistance. I need some assistance. Necesito algún, algo de asistencia, de ayuda. I need some assistance. Assistance. I need some assistance. I need some assistance. I need some assistance. I need some assistance. Could you give me a hand? ¿Me puedes echar una mano? Could you, could you, could you. La D más la Y se unen y forman un sonido J. Could you give. Y como E, semiclave V, give me a hand. Semiclave H, no es hand, sino hand. Could you give me a hand? Could you, could you give me a hand? Repite. Could you give me a hand? I need your support. Necesito tu ayuda. I need your support. Mira que el your, la R de cae. Your support. I need your support. Si unimos la D con la Y, se puede hacer así. I need you. I need your support. I need your support. Como prefieras, ¿vale? I need your support. I need your support. I need your support. ¿Me puedes hacer un favor? Can you do me a favor? Curioso que hacer un favor es con do, ¿vale? No es make a favor, sino do a favor. Could you? De nuevo, tema siriga. Could you do me a favor? Semiclave V, letra clave R que se come a la O. Favor. Could you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you, could you, could you do me a favor? Would you mind helping me, please? ¿Te importaría ayudarme? Would you. Lo mismo. La D más la Y, would you. La W que no es good, sino woo, 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 woo. Would you mind helping me? Helping me. Me he equivocado ahí. Helping me, please. Would you mind helping me, please? Could you give me a tongue out? ¿Vale? Me puedes echar una mano. Una ayudita. Could you give me a dog out? A dog out. A dog out. Could you give me a dog out? Could you give me a dog out? Could you give me a dog out? Hey, could you give me a dog out? Could you lend me a hand? ¿Me puedes prestar una mano, echar una mano? Could you lend me a hand? Could you, could you lend me a hand? Puedes omitir la H. Could you lend me a hand? Could you lend me a hand? Could you lend me, could you lend me, could you lend me a hand? Could you lend me a hand? Could you lend me a hand? I need a helping hand. Necesito una mano ayudante. I need a, I need a, mira, I need a, I need a helping, y como a helping hand. I need a helping hand. I need a helping hand. I need a helping hand. Yes, I'm telling you. Could someone... Could someone, could someone help me, please? ¿Me puede alguien ayudar? Could someone help me, please? Could someone help me, please? Could someone help me? Someone help me, please. Could someone help me, please? Could someone help me, please? Expresiones útiles para comprar en inglés. How much is it? How much is it? La H la puedo omitir. How? How much is it? Y como E, is it? How much is it? La T final casi no se dice. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? A que nunca te lo había enseñado así. How much is it? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? La H casi no se dice. How much does it cost? It. La T no se dice y como es. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta? It's too expensive. Es demasiado caro. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Es ahí como es semiclave V. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Es demasiado caro. It's too expensive. I'm telling you, te insisto, it's too expensive. Have you got anything, anything cheaper? Have you got any? Have you got any? Perdón. Have you got anything cheaper? Anything. Anything cheaper. Have you, have you got anything cheaper? También puedes decir, do you have anything cheaper? Do you have anything cheaper? What time do you open? ¿A qué hora abres? What time do you? Ese do you se puede hacer así, do. 
What time do you open? What time do you open? What time do you open? What time you What time do you open? 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 Here's your change. Here's your change. Aquí está tu cambio. Here's here's your here's your change. Here's your here's your. Ese here's se diría así. Here's your here's your here's your change. Tampoco se dice your sino que se omite la r. Here's your change. 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 Do you have this item in stock? ¿Lo tenéis este 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 producto en el stock? Do you have this item in stock? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Vale, mira, do you? Do you have? Muy Do you have this item in stock? Item in stock. Sorry, it's out of stock at the moment. Lo siento, pero lo tenemos fuera de stock en este momento, vale? I'm sorry. Sorry, it's out of stock at the moment. It's out of stock at the moment. It's out of stock at the moment. Sorry, it's out of stock at the moment. I'm sorry. It's out of stock at the moment. Where can I find the chocolate? Where can I? Mira, where can I? Se puede decir así. Where can I? Where can I find the chocolate? Chocolate. Chaqueta Leticia. Chocolate. Where can I find the chocolate? Where can I? Where can I? Where can I? Where can I? Where can I find the chocolate? Nunca te lo había enseñado así, eh? Me lo llevo. Me lo llevo. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Me lo llevo. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mira la letra clave R. I'll take it. Letra clave I como E. I'll take it. La teca se dice. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. What's your phone number? Frases útiles para usar en el teléfono. Mm -hmm. What's your phone number? What's your? Mira cómo se une. What's your? What's your phone number? La R de your te cae. What's your? No. What's your phone? What's your phone? What's your phone number? What's your phone number? What's your phone? What's your phone? What's your phone number? Eh, ¿Puedo preguntar quién está llamando, por favor? Could I ask who's calling, please? Calling. ¿Y cómo es? Could I ask who's calling, please? Could I ask? Could I ask who's calling? Es acá de ask. Casi no se dice, ¿vale? Could I ask who's calling, please? Could I ask who's calling, please? Do you mind waiting a few minutes? Do you mind waiting a few minutes? Do you mind waiting a few minutes? Hey, do you mind waiting a few minutes? 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 Minutes. When is a good time to call? ¿Cuándo es un buen momento para llamar? When's a good time to call? Mira, when is, contraemos así, when's a good. When's a good, u como, when's a good time to call? Time to call? Te como lo sabe, time to call. When's a good time to call? When's a good time to call? ¿Puedo hablar con el señor Smith, por favor? May I speak to Mr. Smith? Mr. S Mr. Smith. May I speak to Mr. Smith? Smith. May I speak to Mr. Smith? May I speak to Mr. Smith? Smith, no, Smith, ¿vale? Y como es, Smith. May I speak to Mr. Smith? Uh, I'm sorry. Mm, no está aquí. Hoy. I'm sorry. He's not here. He's not here. He's not here today. He's not here today. Se puede convertir en He's not here today. He's not here today. He's not here today. La T de not y de T de today con como R suave. He's not here today. Can I take a message? Uh, ¿Quiere que anote algún mensaje? Can I take a message? Message. Can I take a message? 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 Yes? Could you spell that for me, please? Me lo puede letrear, por favor? Could you? Could you spell that for me? La R de cae. For me? Puedes decirlo, pero mejor for me, please. Could you spell that, could you spell that for me? Could you spell that for me, please? Could you spell that for me? Could you spell that for me? Lo siento, pero no he pillado tu primer nombre. Eh, nom eh, your first name. Eh, your name, your, tu apellido, ¿vale? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your first name. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your first name. Tu nombre, no, tu, el nombre, your first name. Ok, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your first name. Would you mind speaking up a bit? ¿Te importaría hablar un poco más, más alto? 
Would you spot? Would you mind? Would you mind speaking up a bit? Speaking up a bit. Speaking up a bit. Would you mind speaking up a bit? Would you mind speaking up a bit? Would you mind speaking up a bit? How's the weather? How's the weather today? Como hablar del tiempo. How's the weather today? How's the weather today? How's the weather weather today? La te como resuelve de today, ¿vale? How's the weather today? How's the weather today? Hey, how's the weather today? How's the weather today? How's the weather today? What is it like outside? Que, ¿Cómo está por, por afuera, vale? What is it like outside? Is it cold? Is it cloudy? Is it raining? What is it like outside? What is it like? What is it like outside? Hey, what is it like? What is it like outside? What is it like outside? What's the temperature there? ¿Qué temperatura hace allí? What's the temperature? Temperature there. What's the temperature there? Hey, what's the temperature there? What's the temperature there? What's the temperature there? What's the temperature there? All right. Next, what's the weather forecast? ¿Cuál es la previsión del tiempo? What's the weather forecast? What's the weather forecast? What's the weather forecast? Hey, what's the weather forecast? What's the weather forecast? What's the weather forecast? It's sunny. Hace sol. ¿Y cómo es? It's sunny. It's sunny. Hace sol. It's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. Repite. It's sunny. It's sunny. Hace sol. It's sunny. Hace sol. It's sunny. It's raining. Está lloviendo. Mira, curioso. Y como es it's. Y luego ray. El ray. La R genera una letra clave. Genera una U. Raining. Y luego y como es. No es raining, sino raining. It's raining, man. Aleluya. It's raining. It's raining. Repite, está lloviendo. It's raining. Uh, the weather will be warming up soon. El, el tiempo me drama, se te, templará más, un poco pronto, ¿vale? Se pondrá más caluroso. The weather will be warming up soon. The weather will be warming up, warming up soon. The weather will be warming up soon. It's expecting to be hotter than last year. It's expecting to be hotter than last year. Se espera que sea más caluroso que el año pasado. It's expecting to be hotter than last year. It's expecting to be hotter than last year. I can't believe this weather. No me lo puedo creer este tiempo. I can't believe this weather. This. ¿Y cómo es? I can't. Mirad que la T no se pronuncia. Acentúo toda la palabra. I can't believe this weather. I can't believe this weather. Can't believe this weather. Oh my God. It's raining cats and dogs. La expresión más cursi del inglés. ¿vale? Está lloviendo gatos y perros. Oh my God. En fin, la enseñamos. It's raining cats and dogs. My God, it's raining cats and dogs. Está lloviendo gatos y perros. La mundial está cayendo. La mundial. It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. 